Does fluoride in water lower your IQ? I'm going to answer that question. Don't go anywhere. But first of all, let me tell you why we put fluoride in water in the first place. Okay. Fluoride basically helps our oral health. It combines with outer enamel tooth layers and it helps prevent cavities. It makes our teeth stronger. This is really important. Also lowers our risk of having tooth decay. So basically fluoride is a health situation. It's a health thing. It repairs and prevents damage to our teeth. That's caused by the bacteria in our mouth. And you all know we have lots of bacteria in our mouth and the bacteria in our mouth make acid when we eat or drink, etc. And this acid can dissolve minerals on our tooth surface, making the tooth weaker and open to cavities. Okay. And just so you know, cavity is essentially tooth decay. If it goes untreated, and we don't want them in the first place, but remember, untreated cavities can cause major problems. We're talking about not only pain, but potential infections, not only in the mouth, but that can actually spread. And remember, pain and infection, what does that lead to? Oh, loss of work, uh, can't go to school, can't do the things that you need to do. It's a big, 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 big deal. And I just said, you could get not only abscesses or infections in your mouth, but these infections can spread throughout their body. In rare situations, um, it can cause a mouth infection, which can spread, which could be potentially fatal. Okay. So this is the thing that you must know. Protecting teeth really requires consistent low levels of fluoride in the mouth. This is according to the CDC. That is one of my sources for this video, along with the American Academy of Pediatrics. All right. You're probably saying, well, what is fluoride? Why are they adding this, this thing? Well, just know that fluoride is actually a chemical ion of fluorine. It's the 13th most common element in the earth's crust. This is a naturally found thing. It's found in almost all soil and water and many rocks. It's released into the environment when rocks or soil containing fluoride are dissolved by water. So if you're thinking that this is some like rando chemical or whatever, no, it's, it's actually a naturally occurring thing that is super, super helpful. And according to the CDC, almost all water contains some naturally occurring fluoride, but usually at levels too low to prevent cavities, which is the name of the game. So what happens then is many communities across the country opt to put fluoride in the water to help prevent cavities and promote good oral health. By the way, we have years and years and years and years of studies and data that show that putting fluoride in the water is safe and healthy. And fluoride in the water literally is one of the most cost-effective ways to get fluoride to community and to help people's oral health and their overall health. It's, this is actually considered one of the major accomplishments in our lifetime, okay? So understand that there is a very, very important reason for this. So parents, you listening, okay? Folks, you listening? And we know that potentially cavities are reduced by 25% when water has fluoride in it, which is a big deal. Again, Fewer missed days of school, fewer missed days of work, less pain, et cetera, et cetera. This is a big deal. Less fillings, which means money, cha-ching, all right? Um, and also, please keep in mind that many, many, many organizations recommend fluoride in water, all right? We're talking about the AAP, the American Dental Association, World Health Organization, and so many other things. By the way, if you want to know the fluoride level in your community's water, you can actually just check your uh, check with your local uh, water provider. Now, what I will say is that there are recommended amounts of fluoride to be in the water, all right? I know you're asking, you're saying, well, okay, what's the deal with fluoride and low IQ? Because I done heard something on the Google Schmoogler saying fluoride levels in water lowers your IQ. Well, it lowers your IQ. See, I got excited, so I kind of st stumbled over that. Let me first tell you, okay? And this is according to the American Academy of, of Pediatrics. Fluoride in drinking water at the recommended level has not been linked to lower IQ scores. If the water has a recommended amount, it's not linked to lower IQ. So what, what we're talking about, though, is some studies that some of which have come from the U.S. government have noted a link, possible link between high fluoride levels in drinking water. We're talking like more than twice the level of fluoride in U.S. drinking water, uh, that high level of fluoride and lower IQ scores in children. All right. There's a number of, of things and caveats with these studies. I'm not going to go into it. Uh, they were many of them non-U.S. studies, et cetera, et cetera. But this is the thing. The American Academy of Pediatrics and myself continues to recommend age-appropriate age appropriate amounts of fluoride toothpaste and fluoridated water to protect children's teeth. Uh, and uh, as a family doctor, I recommend it as well. All right. So this is the thing. Fluoride in water is very important at appropriate levels, and it does a lot of good stuff. If your community does not have fluoride in its water, talk to your doctor or your child's pediatrician about what to do about that. Because as you can see, fluoride helps your teeth. 
may lower your dental bill, folks. Okay, this is important business. So don't believe hype or myths. Stick with the facts. Talk to your doctor. Let me know what you think. Share this video with others. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me all, all over the place on social media. Go to my website, drjancoddle.com to sign up for my weekly health newsletter. I love y'all.